Okay, there we go. Now, now notice they don't have the common denominator, right? So we have to figure out what is the common denominator first before we can continue. So the first thing you want to do is figure out what is the LCD. That's the first thing you want to do. The LCD of the, at the bottom? Mm-hmm, it's from the bottom. It should be two, right? For the number oh, then why? and you have to also yeah, include all the letters yes, so then the second thing is to rewrite them so that each of them has the 2y now we're lucky because the back guy the one at the right has 2y at the bottom already doesn't it yeah. so that means I don't need to do anything to the numerator the numerator is gonna stay 7 but the first fraction does not have a 2y what would I had to multiply by in order to make it a 2y. A y. So if I use that at the bottom, I have to do the same thing to the top, making the new top what? 3y. 3y. And then you can follow your steps as before. So step 3 would be to actually add them 3y. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing you would do is simplify, but this one cannot okay, be simplified. So we would just box this one or type in that one, right? If it could be, then that would have been my final answer, if it was simplified. So you can't have the right answer if you just start off bad, right? If you start off with the wrong common denominator, the rest of it is all bad. So you have to make sure you're understanding the common denominator. <coughs> okay, can I ask you a question before I try this one? Mm-hmm. Neither one of them denominators have anything in common with one another, but you have to make them alike, right? Mm-hmm. But when you're identifying the common denominator, not only do you tell me what they have in common, but you also tell me what they have different from one another. Right? Yeah. So even though they don't have anything in common, one does have an A and yeah, the other one has a seven. Has a seven. Right. So that's what that's they need to LCD, be. That's your LCD, right. So mm -hmm. I mean, that's what I'm saying. That's Once you find your LCD with your likes and dislikes, your mm -hmm. negative and positive, then, then you do your work. Right. Okay. okay. Do you know it, one? What goes up here? Uh, 28 gonna go up there. Mm -hmm. Right, to get the 7, yeah, 8, I need the 7. seven over there. Yep, that's 28. 28. And, and over here, I need the A. a. So we have 5A. Yep. What would be in this? 28 minus 5A. Mm -hmm. Can you factor that? Uh, let me look at it. Nah. Nope. Oh, so then you don't have a step four. The simplified version, right? it so I can give you a second <laughs> okay oh, what is the common denominator you used least common denominator uh -huh, between the least, three and nine is um, not, it, three uh, C okay it's no, uh, what do they have in common 
C is in common. The C. And then between three and nine, what's the common denominator? Three. Not three. Nine. It's always the bigger one, right? Yeah. Does this go into nine? Yep. So then we use nine. If it did not go into nine, we would have to do That's 18, 27, all of that until three went in. Now, since we have 9C already in the front fraction, we don't need to change the top. It stays. See, that's what confused me. Okay, go ahead. Go mm -hmm. ahead. Okay. So, wherever your least, what, if wherever in your equation that you have that LCD already, mm -hmm. you don't need to do mm -hmm. anything else to that. It's like multiplying it by one to yeah. make it, okay, which so, doesn't change okay. anything, right? That's what, that's what was losing. But what do we have to multiply by here to make it? turn into a 9C, the common the denominator. Right yes. Yeah, so you're going to do the top and bottom by that. Correct. So then that makes what at the top now? You're going to have that 3 up there. Mm -hmm. And then if I actually add those together, what do you end up with? You're going to get 8 over 9C. Mm -hmm. Can that reduce? No. No. So no step 4. What really confuses people is GCF and LCD because they use that word the greatest, but since it has to be in common, it's actually a smaller value than what you have. And then here we're doing least common denominator, but you're going to have to make them the same. So even though you're looking for, it says least, you're actually just looking for something that may be bigger than what you already have. It's just the lowest of the big things that you need. I could have also used 81C squared, and that would have worked as well. But then I would have had a lot of reducing to do at the end. Okay? So this is just the least of the big guys. Okay, did you get something for the LCD? Uh, 12B. 12B, good. So then what? You multiply the left-hand side to 7 by 3. Mm -hmm. And then you multiply the right-hand side by 2. Mm -hmm. You get, uh, oh. 21. Yeah, 21. And 10. 10, yes. So we end up with 11. 11 over 12B, right? Mm-hmm. And those cannot reduce. So no last step, right? No so I'll do the I'll, well, I'll walk you through the first one and then we'll try the second one. So here we have the LCD. So they do still have a C in common, right? And between six and four, does four go into six? No. So if we double it, that's twelve. Yeah. Does four go into twelve? Yeah. So 12 is my least of the big guys, right? So now what I want to do is I want to make this a 12C and I want to make this a 12C. But in order to do that, it means I had to multiply this by what? By uh, 2 over there. Which means I also have to multiply the top by 2. Yeah. And then down here, what are we multiplying by? By 3. Which means I have to multiply the top by 3. So if I distribute that, my new top becomes 6C 
mm -hmm. plus 10. And the new top over here becomes... Minus C minus 21. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to do 12C. Now, if I were to distribute this plus sign, is it going to change these signs? Nope. No. So it's just going to be 6C plus 10, positive 9C, and negative 21. Down here, is the ch are the signs going to change? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. So be that careful that you always that distribute that sign, no matter what it is. When I simplify, though, there, that's going to give me 15C, and that's going to give me negative 11. Can the top be factored? Take out one. Yeah, but that won't help me, right? Yeah, that won't help you. It'll look exactly the same. Yeah, it'll look the same. No, it can't be So factored. no. As long as this cannot be factored, I cannot reduce. Okay, so step but, four is out. Okay, I was gonna ask a question. Then. Sure. About the twelve C and the fifteen C, you can't divide those into one another like like split it this over this, that over that. Yeah. Later you will in college algebra. Okay, right now, no. Mm-hmm. Right now, they just want us to add. As soon as we add and we simplify it, we're done. Because the directions will say something like, write your answer in simplest form, or simplify to lowest terms, things like that. It'll say in Alex. And so that's your key. Make sure you pay attention to see if you can reduce it. Try this one. I'm gonna pause the video. What'd you get as the LCD? Mm-hmm, because two did go into eight, right? Well, so that means this one doesn't change. But over here, what do we have to multiply by? Four. Four. So if you multiply this by four, you also have to multiply the top by four. So you get, uh, four x plus 20, there you go. Mm-hmm. But then in order for me to minus, this is going to change those guys' signs, five. right? Yep. So what do you get? Let me see something. Hold on. Sure. So that's where I messed up at. You forgot to distribute nice? No, I did it, but I did it, I guess, before. You know what I'm saying? Once I got that, that's what I did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got that. That's what I did. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? I went ahead and just... Yeah. So did you have a minus here and then a negative 4 and a negative yeah, 20? Yeah, that's what I did. And, and then you change it again? Yeah. yeah. Change it again. yeah. Always okay, so just you bring this down that. first. Okay. So and have, then you distribute it later. Okay, so you'll have X uh -huh. on the top. Mm -hmm. And then uh, minus 17. Minus 23. Right. Yeah, my fault. Over and 8X. 8X. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and the fine. top cannot be factored, so yeah. you cannot reduce it. These just now have powers, but it's the same process. They do have W's in common, but when you're doing the common denominator, remember you're looking for the smallest big guy. It's gonna be to the square, to the second. No, you have to pick the higher exponent. Oh, you have to pick the because you one. can't turn a cube into a square, right? But you can turn, but you can turn, turn a square, square into a cube. cube. You're right. So you have to go with the bigger one. Right, now, what about the numbers five and four? It should be 20, right? Yes. So then I want to make this 20w cubed, and I want to make this 20w cubed. But what would I have to multiply this by to make it 20w cubed? Four. Four only. So multiply by that four, we get negative 16. What would I have to multiply this by to get 20w cubed? 5w. Correct. And then the same here, 5w. So now we have... 15w. Notice that I brought the minus down, right? Yep. Now is where we'll use the minus. So you end up with negative 16 minus 15w. Can the top be factored by more than just one or negative one? No. No. 
So then we cannot simplify with the bottom. So try the next one. Okay, what is the common de denominator here? Uh, 6 W cubed. Mm -hmm. So what did you have to multiply by? 3 W on that side. Mm -hmm. So that gives you negative 21 W mm -hmm. plus 10 over 3 W. Mm -hmm. Not over 3 W. Over 6. Six, six W cubed. cubed. Yeah, no, no, mm -hmm. So we get six W cubed the same, but then both that's of these six, guys six, together, right? right. Nope, so that's, that's, that's it. Answer. What's the common denominator here? Y cubed. Y cubed. Six on that one. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what do I have to multiply this one by? Uh, two over there. So that gives me eight. What do I have to multiply by here? Mm -hmm. So that gives me 15y, and then I have 8 plus 15y, and the top cannot be factored, so that's it. Bless you. Here, let me unpause it and then let me unfreeze it. Okay. What I did was I accidentally multiplied by 12 here and here, but I didn't realize there was already a 4. Yes, already a 4. So I shouldn't have multiplied by 12. I should have only multiplied by 3. So I had an 84 there, which meant I could factor out a 4, and I did, and then I reduced it with the 12. So I was going and going and going, but it was bad. <laughs> Um, so yes, this is correct. And you cannot factor anything from there, so that's it. You're done. Try the next one. And be careful, because this one's negative. Did you have 21W cubed X squared as your LCD? Yeah. Okay. So then this one was missing the 3, an extra W, and an extra X. So that gave me 12 WX at the top. This one was missing the 7, and that was it. So then I multiplied that at the top, got 35. Remember, this is for this numerator. And since it's only one guy, it's just negative 12 WX, right? Plus 35. Can't factor the top, so you cannot simplify that. Let me see. Holy, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more. So I'm gonna have to kind of speed it up a little bit. Um, this is the same thing. It's just more variables. So we're gonna just do all the rest of them together so we can kind of go through them faster. What would be the number for the common denominator? Twenty-four. Uh, Look at this guy. 12, that does not go into there. 24. 9 does not go into there. 36. Yeah, it goes into 36. Okay. 36. Then we've got B's, we've got K's, we and got we've B got cubed. D's. We've got B cubed, mm -hmm. K cubed, and then just uh, the single D. By itself. Mm -hmm. So then now let's see. What do I have to multiply this one by? By 4. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to be uh, K cubed. Mm -hmm. And then that's it. Mm hmm. Here, what do we got to multiply by? Uh, B. Mm -hmm. What number? To the one, B to the first power, the first degree. Mm -hmm. But what number? Oh, my fault. Uh, uh, for 36 by 3. Mm -hmm. uh, and then any other letters? Uh, what you got? You got B, Q, K, and D. 
D. So then the same thing here, 3, B, and D. So then we end up with 20 W, K to the third over this 36 B cubed, K cubed, D. This one will have the same denominator, but the numerator will become 3 D to the fourth, D to the fourth y cubed, cubed and mm -hmm. and if I put that all together we have 20 WK cubed plus 3 D to the fourth Y to the third B can the top be factored yeah, that 20 and 36. that's not a 36 Can the top be factored? Oh, yes. Oh, you're talking about by itself. Mm-hmm. 3 and 20. And they all have different letters, right? No, it can't be factored out. So nothing in no, common. That's so right. that's it. As weird and ugly as that looks, that's the answer. Just be careful when you type it in, right? Wow. Okay. Here, let's see. What is the LCD? Between 10 and 6. What 30. is 30. 30. And then I see A's, I see C's, and I see K's. You're going to say A cubed, uh -huh. C squared, mm -hmm. and kilo by itself. Yep. Okay. So then what do I multiply by here? You're going to say 3 over there. 3. 3 uh, A cubed, C, by kilo by itself. Mm -hmm. Other side is by 5. Uh, a, a cubed, mm -hmm. C, mm -hmm. and that's it. So let's see, we get 9x cubed k, yep. and we get 25a to the 6, w to the 2, and c. And the bottom, we're going to end up with that common denominator, right? And I just put them together already, because it's just one thing and one thing, right? You can put them together. You don't have to write it separated first and then together. Now, if there were two terms up here, I can't jump to the answer, right? Because you might have to distribute some things when you have two terms, okay? So here, if we're going to figure out the LCD, we have to list all the factors, right? You've got the 3, the x, and the x minus 6. So the LCD is going to be all three of those things because they have nothing in common. So then I'm going to end up multiplying the top. I already have the 3 and the x. I'm missing the x minus 6, right? So here I would have to multiply by the x minus 6. For the second fraction, I have the x minus 6, but I'm missing the 3 and the x. So I would have to multiply this by 3 and an x, and I would have to multiply this by 3 and the x. So when I do that, I actually have 2 times x minus 6, and then I have plus 3, 9x, and I could put it together, but I have to remember to distribute everything. So the 2 has to get distributed. The positive is not really going to change that, it's going to stay positive, and then the bottom stays the same. But that gives me 11x minus 12, which cannot be factored, which means I cannot simplify this. So same thing. I will give you a second to write down. But then we'll do the same thing with the next one. What is the LCD for this next one? Uh, 5x. 5x. Minus, x minus 6. Mm -hmm. So this one's missing 5X. the 5x. So do the same to the top. This one is missing. X minus 6. Mm -hmm. So do the same to the top. So we end up with. We'll have the same bottoms, right? Yes, ma'am. What will we end up with the top here? 15x. Mm -hmm. And then 2x minus 12. 
2x minus 12. Now, is this plus going to change those signs? No. 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 So you could combine since you know they're not going to change, right? What's 15x plus 2x? 17x minus 12. Mm -hmm. And then the bottom. Can you factor the top? 17x, no. Besides 1. Nope. So then you cannot simplify. Only if you can factor that. Or if the top exactly matches something at the bottom. That's the only time you can reduce. Here, what is the common denominator? 3x, x minus 3. Mm -hmm. So we multiply this one by the 3x. The by the x minus 3. Mm -hmm. So we end up with what? Uh, 6x minus 18. Mm-hmm. 6x minus 18 here. And then what's that? 15x? Mm-hmm. And you're only minusing one term. Right. So you don't have to distribute. Yeah. You just have to remember it's 6x minus 15x. What do you get? 9x. Almost. 6x minus 15x? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, negative 9x. I'm there sorry. you go. <laughs> and minus 18 doesn't have a common guy, right? Uh oh, though. That can be factored out. Uh huh. So you're going to hit that off with. Uh, we have to factor out the negative. negative right. So that's going to be uh, your negative 1. So well, what do they have in common? Oh, they got 9 in common. Mm hmm. And then x minus 2. Mm hmm. And then you factor out your negative 1, right? No. You just leave we can like reduce that. these. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Three goes into three once. Three goes into nine. Oh, three times. Three times. But, but the little be, negative is still it's there. Be a negative three, though. So it's negative it's three. three. And then at the bottom, it's now just x times x minus three. Here, what is the LCD? Oh, that's going to be X minus 7 and X minus 3 then. Mm -hmm. So essentially, you're going to end up kind of like cross multiplying, right? Because this one's missing the X minus 3 and that one's missing the X minus 7. I cheat just to save myself paper. If I'm going to multiply this by x minus 3 and x minus 3, won't it have both of them at the bottom? Yeah. Right? So all I'm going to have here is that times x minus 3. On the other side, I'm going to multiply this by x minus 7 and x minus 7. So then they'll have this at the bottom. Right? But at the top, I have to actually multiply that out. So the bottom, do not multiply the bottom out because you're going to have to factor it again anyway. So there's no sense in going forward if we're going to have to go back backwards, right? Just multiply the top. So I get 8x minus 3. I'm going to put the plus sign, and I'm going to keep my parentheses. If it were a minus sign, this is very important, this step, okay? Because that minus sign would have to apply to every single term from this, okay? So if you just get in the habit of it, then your parentheses will save you, okay? You don't have to worry about when to use them and when not to use them. Just always, okay? Because that plus sign applies to everything back here. So x times x is... Mm -hmm. x times negative 7. Uh, 7 minus 7x. Negative 4 times x. Mm -hmm. And then that should be plus 28. You got it. And then now, is the plus going to change any of these signs? No. no. So when I combine, I can just straight combine. I don't even have to worry about it. So I only have one term with an x squared, and that's that guy. It's a positive x squared. However, I have three terms with an x in it. So what do I end up with for my x's? So you get 
Mm-hmm, negative three. And then now for my constants, I've got a negative three and a positive 28. Mm -hmm. Now you're supposed to try to factor this, but are there factors of 25 that add to give me three? There's only two possible uh, pairs, one and 25, which is too big, right? And five and five, which is also too big. So we're not gonna get that. So we cannot factor the top, which means it's done. You don't have to simplify it. And here, what is the LCD? X and X minus one. Mm -hmm. So I know they're both gonna have X and X minus one at the bottom, right? Yep. This one is missing the X. So I'm gonna take the X and multiply it by that. I could have put the X in the back, but when we're distributing, I like to see it in the front, so I put it in the front. It doesn't matter. The minus sign, though, is stuck. And then I have x minus 3 times the other guy I'm missing, which is x minus 1. So far, do you see it? Yeah, I see it. Okay. So we can multiply this in. There's nothing, nothing in front that I have to put a big parenthesis around. So we're just going to have x squared plus 9x. But over here, you have this symbol, and that symbol is going to apply to everything. So we do have to have parentheses. So x squared minus 1x minus 3x plus 3. Now, I don't like to waste a lot of paper or rewrite things a lot. So what I do is when I distribute this, I just write the new numbers up here. So that's going to become negative x squared positive x, positive 3x, and then a negative 3, right? After I distribute it. So when I combine my like terms, I'm gonna combine the pink x squared plus 9x with all that stuff I have in purple, okay? So I don't have to rewrite a whole nother fraction, right? Just kind of shortcutting. So what happens when I do x squared minus x squared though? They cancel each other out. Mm-hmm. And then what happens when I combine my x's? I have 9, positive 9, plus 1, plus 3. You got 13x. Mm-hmm. And then I only have one constant, and that's the minus 3, so I'm just going to bring that down. Can you factor the numerator? No. No. So you cannot reduce this. Okay, so here, before we can figure out what the common denominator is, they have to be factored completely. So I actually have to figure out what do I really have down here before I can go figure out the LCD. So actually, if I factor out a 2, this is really going to be just 2 times x plus 2. Do you agree? Yep. Okay. So when I go to figure out what my LCD is, they have this x plus 2 in common. Just gotta put a 2 up there. And this is the only thing they have different from one another. Now, this already has that in the denominator, doesn't it? The first fraction, it already has 2 and x plus 2 in the denominator. Because you already broke it down. Mm -hmm. okay. So nothing is going to change with the first fraction. However, the second fraction does not have the extra 2. So I'm going to have to multiply this by a 2, which means I also have to multiply the top by a 2. So what do I get for my new top? 4. 4. And now they match, don't they? And I can just subtract those. What do you end up with? 9 over 2x mm -hmm. plus 2. Mm -hmm. And 9 cannot reduce with the 2, right? So it's done. 
here, if we factor this guy, what do we really have down here? And I like to cross it out so I look at the new. 4x plus 4. 4 times x, x plus, plus 4. 4. 4 times x so what is the LCD then? 4 times x plus 4. Mm -hmm. So this one's good to go. It's this one that has to get multiplied by 4. So if I put them over 4x plus 4, this is a 9 plus an 8. Which gives me what when I combine? Mm -hmm. Over 4 times x plus 4. Mm -hmm. And will that reduce? No matter. No. So just warming us up to what happens if they're not factored, right? You need that? No? I'm sure you're writing it down. <laughs> So it's the same thing, this is the advanced version. All that means is I'm probably gonna have some distributing and I may have some simplifying to do. So let's see, this is not factored though. Take so that, I take cannot. That, take that five out, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna have x plus two. So then the LCD would be what? Five x plus two. Mm -hmm. the and since- I need to be multiplied by five on the other side. Mm -hmm. And then this side does not need to be multiplied by anything, right? right? But the plus sign does apply to the whole thing. But it's not going to change anything. It won't. So this is going to be 10x plus 4x minus 2, which gives us 14. Mm -hmm. Can the top be factored? Yeah, by 2. Mm-hmm. And then it's going to be x minus 7, or 7x minus 1. Mm-hmm. But will it reduce? What, any of that? Mm-hmm. No, we sure won't. No. We tried, right? But it doesn't reduce. So this, you can write this as your answer or the unfactored version as your answer since it didn't reduce. Alex takes either one of those two. I like to factor it just to see if it can reduce. But if it doesn't, Alex usually will write this as their answer. But that is also acceptable. It won't count it wrong if you write it like that. Okay, here. Let's factor that. We have 5 and x minus 2. We can factor this one. Mm -hmm. So x minus 2 will definitely be part of the LCD, but what number? 20. 20. So then what do I need to multiply this one by to make the 20? 4. 4. And then I'm going to put my minus sign. What would I have to multiply this one by to make the 20? Five. five. Now, instead of putting the five in the back, we usually like to write it in the front, right? So that we can distribute. But notice, what am I actually distributing? A negative five. A negative five, good. So this will become eight X, but then that will be minus five X. And 25. correct. So you gotta refactor that back down now? Um, if it can, but I don't think okay. three and twenty five are gonna yes, are gonna have anything. And you can't do the three and twenty and all that either. Mm -mm. All right, it has to be everything. Yep. Okay. These are weird. I like to deal with them in a certain way. I do not like to do these problems the LCD way. Okay? The LCD way. Meaning I factor the bottoms, I tell you what the LCD is, I make them have the LCD and then I have to reduce later. I mean, I could do it that way, but I'll show you a faster, I will do it that way and then I'll show you the faster way. So let me draw a little line over here. No, we'll just go the faster way, Ms. Lopez. Well, I'm gonna show you that it works. <laughs> and I'm not lying. <laughs> so the long way is to first rearrange these guys so that they're in the correct order. So you can just kick back and listen for right now. Then, because the negative is in the front, I have to factor out the negative 1, leaving me with this. So the LCD would be the x minus 1, but then the negative 1 as well. Which means I would have to multiply this guy by the negative 1, right? 
And then this guy would stay exactly the same because it already had the common denominator. Then when I that simplify be, that. That won't be negative eight. Oh, okay, because you already simplified everything. That, mm -hmm. that I will get positive two over negative one X minus one. The computer will most likely not like this because like we said, they don't like negatives downstairs, so you're right? Have what? So what they'll do is they'll put the negative in the front or at the top. top right. So if you yeah. put it at the top, now that's a positive go. one, right. which you don't really need to write. It's just this, okay? Now the fastest way you can do that is if you're going to switch these around a minus sign, you have to change the sign of the top. So if I wanna write x minus one instead of one minus x, I have to change this sign, whatever's in the front. So I can rewrite that as minus eight over x minus one, okay? Then now notice they have a denominator, and what is six minus eight? Uh, negative negative two. two. And now don't I have the answer? And I didn't have to do all those steps to get it. <laughs> so the same thing here. If I want to switch those around so that it looks like this one, switching these around means that has to change. So it becomes 4 plus 7 over 3x minus 5, which is 11 over 3x minus 5. And you can't reduce the 11 with that, right? So this is the way you're supposed to do it, but after you do 10 million of them, right? <laughs> you start to notice, oh, I just could have changed the sign and I would have got the same number, okay? So on, every time you wanna swap them around a minus, you have to change the sign in the front, okay? That's the key thing. And if you forget that or don't know when to do it, then just do it the old way by default and you'll still get the same answer. Okay. In case you freak out on a test or something, right? <laughs> you still have the regular way as your default. These are not much different. It's just the factoring part's gonna take me longer. Okay. So I still have to figure out what is that. <laughs> I have to know what the little bubbles are, right? And I still need to be able to factor this to know what the bubbles are before I can figure out the LCD. So it's just a little bit extra steps because there's a number in front. So three times 15 is, uh-huh. And what subtracts to give me four? Nine times five. Uh-huh. And then I think I would have to have a bigger positive. positive. positive nine and a negative five. So let's see, three X squared, positive nine X, negative five X minus 15. That's three X, X plus three, minus five x positive three x positive three and three x minus five so i've got this one now i've got to go do the other one so three times 20 60. Mm -hmm, and they got to add to give me 17. negative uh 20 times three those won't add to give me 17. 60 divided by 15 is 4. 60. What about a. Uh, hmm. Oh. 5 and 12. But they have to be the same, both negative. You got it. So 3x squared minus 5 minus 12. And then chop it. X in common. Here, bring down your minus. What do those have in common? Uh, we can say, what, 4 in common? Mm-hmm. No? So you get plus 5? Almost. 3x minus 5. Because right, negative and negative, negative positive. Yeah, negative, negative. So we have 3x minus 5 in common x minus 4 left over. So the LCD is what they have in common and then what they have different from one another. So who is this one missing? So the one on the top is missing an x minus 4. 
So that 2 is going to have to get multiplied by x minus 4. Plus, what does the 1 need to get multiplied by? Uh, x plus 3. Mm -hmm. So then I get 2x minus 8. And if I think of this together, I can take care of both at the same so time. It's going to be plus 1x plus 3. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to cheat and just write that. <laughs> 3x minus 5. And then can that be reduced? No, you can't take that down. Are you sure? I mean, you, I guess, it, yeah, you can take that Doesn't three. this whole yeah, thing match? Same. So yeah, that reduces? Correct. Okay. Right. So you end up with just these two guys. Okay. So it looks different, but it's really the same thing. There's another one. Try that one. I know we haven't tried one in a while. We only have this one and one more problem. So try this one. You, you got the hard part, though, the common denominator and all that part, correct? You just probably had a plus there instead of a yeah. minus. Okay. So we factored this one into 2x plus 9 and x plus 3. Factored that one into 2x plus 9 and x plus 4. And so then this one, if you look at them together, right, they both have a 2x plus Nine, so that's part of my common denominator and then the different factors are also part of the common denominator so the first fraction was missing the x plus 4 so I took the 3 and multiplied it by the x plus 4 the second fraction was missing the x plus 3 so we multiplied the 1 times the x plus 3 but you can take care of the minus and the 1 at the same time right if you just think of them together and then distribute so then this becomes a negative 1 and a negative 3. So instead of getting 4, you should get 2, right? Instead of getting 15, you'll get 9. But then that matches the bottom exactly. And if it helps you to see it with parentheses around it, then draw the parentheses around it, and then you notice they're exactly the same, right? So that reduces to 1, this reduces to 1, which means you have 1 on top, and x plus 3 and x plus 4 at the bottom. So you had it all right up to here. You yeah, just had a plus and a plus. Yeah, plus. Mm -hmm. Okay. Last, last problem. Try this one. And I said plus. I just brought all three of them down. I didn't no, know they could cancel. You cannot do that. When you write what's in common, you can only write what's in common oh, once. Okay. <laughs> right? You can write that down one time. Okay. Yeah. So here, I got the same factors that you got. So that part, you were good. But since they already have this in common, I only write that one time. And then the factor that was different was this extra guy, right? So that one gets written down one time. So then this already had both. I didn't have to do anything to the three. It stays. This one, though, was missing the 5x plus 2. So we multiplied it by the 5x plus 2. Then took care of the sign and the number at the same time, distributed, combined to my like terms. But 10x plus 7 could not factor, which means it's not going to reduce with anything at the bottom. Okay.